WordPress 5.2 has just been released. In this video briefing, we'll take a look at the latest features. The biggest improvement is something you won't see until things go terribly wrong on your website. If you've ever had WordPress die when you updated a theme or a plugin or WordPress itself, recovery mode will be your new best friend. It's here to save you from those situations. There's also a new site health check that will help you maintain a healthy WordPress website to avoid problems in the future. The Gutenberg block editor continues to evolve, and we have the usual assortment of under-the-hood improvements for WordPress developers. Now let's jump in and take a closer look at some of these features. If you've ever installed a plugin or theme that broke your website, you know how stressful it can be when your website stops loading. For years, we've known this as the white screen of death, so-called because when your website is broken, all you see is a white screen. Uh, when that happens, website owners tend to panic because their website is gone, it's vanished. Well, with recovery mode, those days are over. Recovery mode helps website owners log into the WordPress admin and identify the problem and quickly get their websites back online. Here's how it works. So I triggered an error on my test website that would prevent the website from loading. And I actually have the errors displayed on the front end because it's not a public website. And I know there's something going wrong. Well, right away, WordPress generates an email that it sends off to the site administrator. So you might get the notification in your inbox telling you that something has gone wrong with your website. And that includes a link to log in to the WordPress admin panel so that you can fix things up. Now in the past, when these problems happened, the WordPress admin was not available. And this made these kinds of errors even more frightening because you couldn't log into WordPress. It's like WordPress was totally gone. Now when these errors happen, the WordPress admin will continue to work. And when you log into the admin, you will see something like this. Uh, the bar across the top will have a, an orange or reddish orange block that says exit recovery mode. That's a sign that you are in recovery mode. You don't want to exit recovery mode until you've fixed the problem. And you'll see a message near the top of the screen that tells you that you're in recovery mode. It explains that you should go to the plugin screen to see which plugin is causing a problem. Or the theme screen to see which theme is causing the problem, depending on what's causing your problem. In this case, I've triggered this error with a faulty plugin. So when I go to the plugin screen, I will see my plugin that is causing the problem highlighted. Now I have a couple options. I can either deactivate the plugin or resume. If I'm not, if I haven't fixed the problem, I certainly do not want to resume. What I really want to do is deactivate the plugin. And deactivating the problem plugin will allow my site to return to normal. Uh, so in this case, I would click deactivate and my site would be back online again and everything would be back to normal. And then I would have time to reach out to the plugin author and figure out what the problem is. Maybe there is an issue with a plugin update that was not properly tested against the current version of WordPress. And that's something you can take care of offline without having to have your website affected. In addition to recovery mode, we have this new site health check. You'll find this under the tools menu. Uh, this is a page that makes recommendations for maintaining a fast and secure WordPress website installation so you can avoid problems in the future. The Gutenberg block editor is breaking out of posts and pages. Yes, that's right. Gutenberg is moving to other parts of WordPress. And changes in this version of WordPress are setting the stage for those future improvements. The spoiler alert here is that WordPress widgets are turning into Gutenberg blocks. So you can expect to see that later this year. It's happening. And in my opinion, the biggest Gutenberg improvement that's happened since Gutenberg was released is the addition of the block manager. As the number of blocks continues to grow, it's becoming increasingly difficult to find the right block for the job at hand. The block manager allows you to hide the blocks you don't use so you can focus on the blocks you do use. And speaking of new blocks, this version of WordPress introduces several new Gutenberg blocks. I think the most interesting is the new Kindle embed block this allows you to easily embed a Kindle ebook into any poster page on your website, and your readers can actually start reading the book right on your website. So if you're a book blogger or an author who's published a Kindle ebook, this is a great way to promote the book. In addition to the Kindle embed block, we have a number of other new Gutenberg blocks. The others are widgets that have been converted to Gutenberg blocks. So these are widgets that you can now use in posts or pages. Those include the RSS widget, now a block, 
Calendar, Tag Cloud, and Search. And that's a quick overview of the most interesting new features in WordPress 5.2. Updated tutorials on all of the latest changes are available in the WordPress Essentials course at WPApprentice.com. WordPress Essentials is the best way to stay current with the rapidly changing world of WordPress. Membership includes lifetime access to the WordPress Essentials course videos, which are, of course, updated for each new version of WordPress. Sign up at WP Apprentice today, and we'll see you inside the member area.